Welcome to this episode today where I want to explain in five minutes what direct linear transform means and how it works. So direct linear transform or DLT is a technique that allows you to localize your camera and at the same point in time estimate the linear calibration parameters of your camera. And the only thing you need to know for that is the location of six points in the 3D world, so this known x, y, the coordinate, and a single picture of these three points taken with your camera. You have to be a bit careful what DLT actually refers to. So in some people call the DLT the mapping that maps a point from the 3D world onto the 2D image plane using the so-called fine camera model. And other people refer to it as the approach to estimate the parameters of this fine camera model. We are here referring to the approach that I use in order to estimate the parameters of that camera model. So this camera model has 11 degrees of freedom six extrinsic parameters and five intrinsic parameters. If you want to know more about camera parameters, there's another five minute video exactly on that. What it basically means is we have the extrinsics, which tell me where is your camera and where is it looking to. And we have the intrinsic parameters, which are basically parameters sitting inside your camera. And you want to estimate those 11 parameters just based on a single image. So that what the DLT does, it basically determines the rotation matrix, the um, location of the projection center, and your calibration matrix K from six or more known points from which I take an image. So how does DLT work? How is this happening? Everything starts with a fairly simple equation, x equals px. Uppercase x is the location of a point in the 3D world, so an x, y, z coordinate. Lowercase x is the location where this point is mapped to in my 2D image plane, so an x, y coordinate. And the matrix P is a matrix that actually describes this mapping. We express this here in homogeneous coordinates, um, so that means my matrix P is a 3 by 4 matrix. So it has 12 values that I actually need to fill. And DLT allows me to estimate those 12 parameters here. So how does it work? Based on the information that I have here, so uppercase x is known, lowercase x is observed, and p needs to be estimate, I can actually rearrange, rearrange this equation so that for every point that I'm actually picturing, I get two small equations out. And this equation contains a so-called coefficient vector, let's call it a, and a vector of unknown p. Both are 12 dimensional. So you can envision the vector p with the unknowns by taking all the 12 elements in your matrix and simply arranging it in a 12 dimensional vector. And then we can multiply this p with the coefficient uh, vector a and this should be equal to zero. And I get two of those equations out from picturing every point. So one related to the x coordinates, one related to the y coordinates. So every point gives me two of those equations and I have 12 unknowns because I have a 12 dimensional unknown vector. That means I need to have at least six points that I'm picturing in order to be able to estimate all the 12 unknowns in here. So every point gives me two of those equations. Um, I take six points at least, or I can also exploit more, in order to estimate my 12 unknowns. And I can arrange those coefficient vectors in a matrix called M, so that M times P must be equal to zero. So this is in the end a homogeneous linear system that we need to solve. So a matrix M, which is completely known, multiplied with the vector P consisting of unknowns must be equal to zero. How does P look like so this, is, uh, this, this equation holds? And we can solve this using singular value decomposition. It's a standard approach for solving those systems and what it basically does, it allows me to estimate the singular values and singular vectors and I'm basically taking the singular vector that corresponds to the smallest singular value and this is the vector that brings this uh, equation to zero or minimizes it if due to noise or a large number of points that we are observing, I cannot bring it exactly down to zero. And then I take those 12 values, rearrange them back in a matrix, and I have my projection matrix P. Um, typically, I'm not interested in P directly. I'm interested in my rotation matrix, the location of my camera, and my calibration matrix. But I can actually break up P and recover the other matrices with um, a QR decomposition, which is a standard technique to decompose a matrix into two matrices. And with a few other um, small tricks, I can actually estimate those parameters out. And it's a straightforward standard approach that allows you to localize your camera and estimate 
your linear calibration parameters from six or more points. The only thing I need to take care of is that those points don't lie on a plane. If those points lie on a plane, the system will actually degenerate and I don't find an appropriate solution. Um, and even if the points are very close to a plane, um, then this gate's numerically unstable. So you should make sure that your points do not all lie on a plane. But in sum, that's what DLT is about. It allows you to localize your camera and estimate the calibration parameters, the linear calibration parameters, so not the nonlinear distortion parameters of your lens, for example. These are not covered in here, but you can do this from picturing six known points in a single image. I hope that was useful and gave you an idea what DLT is about. Thank you.